again. Just one quick tool I want to show you, and this seriously is a quick tool, but it's so useful I can't say enough about it. Um, this particular tool is called the Diamond Mudra from Qigong. You can use other kind of relaxation tools too, but I recommend this one, giving it a try. Very easy, and research shows it does have a significant impact on our brain, helping balance our limbic system, our emotional brain, and our cortex, our thinking brain, and also our hemispheres, right and left hemispheres. Um, the idea is that, you know, if you've ever studied Mark David's work of the psychology of eating, he does really a great body of work, but one of the things that he points out and has done a lot of research on is that um, it's kind of the way we eat has a, has a strong impact on how nourished we feel and how well our digestive system and a simulation system work. And if our digestion is off and our simulation is off, if we're stressed or, or entering into the stress response when we eat, it actually is very difficult for us to read the satiety, our satiety mechanism, which means feel satisfied, feel full, feel um, pleasantly well. You know, we can get upset stomachs, we can have digestive problems, we can um, not quite feel satisfied um, and need more, crave more, and we can end up overeating. So, or, or being drawn to things that really aren't the best for us. So, um, I recommend practicing this diamond mudra prior to eating, just sitting down at the table doing it. It's just a couple breaths, so it's quite easy or even prior to a snack. And it's a great opportunity because we can start to look at any patterns of mindless eating that we have. Because if you set this as an intention to practice doing the diamond mudra, let's say for a day or two, and then you notice, oh my gosh, you know, I just woofed down that meal and I didn't even remember I was doing the diamond mudra. Hmm, interesting. And again, it's not evidence to beat ourselves up or feel guilty or feel like we're um, unfixable, let's say, but it's more of interesting, interesting, interesting information. And we look at it with curiosity and compassion. Curiosity and compassion. I like that acronym COAL. Curiosity, open, aware, and loving. So um, I'm going to practice this now. And there was something else I was going to say about the Diamond Mudra. Well, you know, I think what I wanted to mention is that the um, there's so much evidence that our culture is so dysregulated. You know, there's so many toxins in our environment, and there's um, there's so many pieces of whether it be our technology or our the quantity of information and the quantity of choice we have, um, our isolation that we have living in our little nuclear family homes. Um, our uh, chronic emotional stress that we have, you know, these, these things that are kind of built into our culture, we can feel like we're having a very normal life, but what it really is is a dysregulated, stress-provoking life, and we don't even get it, you know, because it's just how we do it here. Um, so any of these actions that we can take that can help us um, lift ourselves out of the stress response and move our body and our brain back to regulation, self-regulation, homeostasis. The more we can practice that throughout the day and throughout the evening, oh my gosh, the happier we will be. I can promise you that. So here's just one of the simple tools we can use to help with that diamond mudra. You take your left hand and you rest your right hand in it. And I'm going to be doing it up here so I can show you on the video, but feel free just to do this comfortably in your lap. And other people don't have to see. You can be doing this on your own, really. And it's nice because it's almost like an opportunity to kind of bless our food or say a prayer about our food, which we don't often do in our culture nowadays. But actually, um, there is some evidence that that can be useful to our digestive systems and our regulatory systems, not to mention who knows the impact on others and on the food itself. So resting your right hand and your left hand, you're going to put your thumbs together. That's a very important part of this, again, working with energy systems, so meridians, so perhaps you can feel that as you touch your thumbs together, there's a lining up, there's a, there's a, um, a uh, alignment kind of that happens as you do that, and you're going to make kind of a diamond shape with that space there. And then all you do, and Qigong has us take a nice deep breath in, I'm going to rest this on my lap now, which is what you'll be doing too. 
You can do this eye open or eye closed, depending on who's around you and such, but you just take a nice deep breath in, and then you exhale out your mouth. Taking all the time you need to have that full exhalation. Nice deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. You do this two or three times. Nice deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. A little exhalation. I like to just breathe comfortably and naturally after that and just see how I feel. I do feel more balanced, a little calmer inside, and that's really what you're looking at. This is what your hands are doing in this moment. And of course, when you're finished with that, you can open them and you can begin to eat. Um, Diamond Mudra, helping again balance those um, differences in our brain, cortex to limbic system, right and left hemispheres lining up our meridian, our energy systems, activating the parasympathetic nervous system so it can help us move from stress to joy. So love to you all and have a good day.